Good morning, everyone. I am back. I am back. Okay, let me tell you, I'm not going to waste no time with this download. Okay, I gave a reading earlier. I can't, I can't begin to tell you, okay, how, how these people, spirit is dealing with these people in the here and now. This ain't some shit that you wait for three months down the line. You know, six months. No, this shit is happening right now, okay? And whoever these people, this person, this couple, listen, spirit is on their ass, okay? I mean, the downloads are constant. It's constant, okay? Because what they do is constant, okay? Spirit left me with a message this morning. Listen, after I gave the reading, spirit's still going. Listen, these people... He's furious with these people, okay? Somebody stole something that did not belong to them, okay? And I'm telling you, somebody stole money from somebody. And listen, God, listen, whoever you took that money from, God said to give it back, okay? God said to give that money back. And I'm going to tell you. What spirit shared with me to show you how serious he is. He told me to go to my, my purse. He said, go to your wallet, wallet and get a dollar, right? I said, okay. He said, right. Now, look at that dollar. See this dollar? I really went and got the dollar, y'all. I said, yeah, spirit, what you want me to see about this dollar? He said, turn the dollar over. I said, what? He said, you see what that dollar says? I said, yeah. He said, read it out loud. I said, in God we trust. He says, right. You see what's underneath that dollar? He said, one. I'm number one. Listen, you can't steal something from somebody you don't believe in. Okay? These people don't believe in God. Okay? So if you don't believe in God, God feels like there's no reason why you should be stealing his money. <laughs> listen, listen, he is not playing. He, listen, he's not playing. He's in a funk. Okay? All right, and this is kind of really like my first first experience seeing spirit spirit in like a spiritual funk, being angry, pissed off. Look, he's mad. If you don't believe in me, don't spend my money. If you don't like me, don't worry about my money. I'm telling you, in God we trust. They don't even believe I'm real. Why are they spending my money? Okay, why are they taking my money from my chosen people? Why are they doing this? I'm telling you, listen, spirit, he won't. He said, take the dollar to the live. Guys, that's why I brought that shit on here. Listen, the downloads, I'm exhaling for these people. I'm telling y'all, this is some this is some biblical shit like I ain't never seen in my life, my damn self. You understand? Okay? Listen, y'all stuff. He said they cursed me. Spirit said that, you know, these people cursed him. That's why he's so mad. I'm telling you, somebody's heart is about to blow clean out of their chest. Somebody is like, <gasps> somebody can't take this shit. Shut the fuck up. It's like, I can't. Spirit is moving in me. I cannot be quiet. Okay. I gave that reading how many hours ago? And it's like, look, it's irritating me. When I try to sit there and ignore this shit, it's irritating my soul. You understand? I have to. This is a married couple. There is a married couple. This woman to this person could be having health issue, issues. I don't know if she went and checked this out or not. But listen, collective, you are about to be held in high honor in your community. You understand? You are about to be celebrated in ways that you don't understand. And I'm telling you, listen, this is the same reading from this morning. This person, this woman right here that's married to this person, she, listen, every bottle she got in the house, she taking it straight down the jugular. Because, look, the tower is here. You understand? The tower is here. You know, if this person was looking at you like you were someone they were competing against, that shit is over. You understand? That is completely over. This person got other problems. You know, this person can have tattoos. You know, these people are tatted up. You know, Spirit told me that. But this is divine timing. Okay, whatever it is they were overdoing, Spirit says no more. Look, in the reading this morning, it said no more. Somebody wants to travel. 
okay? Because somebody's been watching you, collective. And somebody went to a psychic about you, right? Somebody went to a psychic about the collective and they found out the truth. They found out that somebody was doing this to you because this person just wanted to know what it was like to be in your shoes. That's why they stole your money. God said, but how can they steal the collective's money? They don't believe in me, collective. Why do they have my money? And then they stole it from my child. God is like, you better give it back. Okay? You better give it back. I'm telling you, spirit is in a funk because if you don't, See that? Look what's sitting up there with that judge. Okay? The scales will be balanced here. Whether inside the courtroom, okay? Whether physically or spiritually. And like I'm telling you, these people invested in a lot of work. They were outside after midnight last night. Wasn't it a full moon? Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm telling you. <laughs> Seriously, stop playing! <laughs> I said these people were outside last night. Wasn't it a full moon? I swear I heard. Oh! <laughs> Y'all spirits, stop playing. Look, these people missed the bigger picture. They thought they were coming up against a nobody, but this nobody, right, got this relationship with God that I don't think people understand. But, you know, these people are finding out that, listen, God must be real because these people trying to find a way to clean this shit up. And it's not, it's like, yo, how do we, you know, trying to stop your money is in the reverse. They were trying to stop your money and stole your money. Whoever this woman is, I'm telling you, this woman to this married person, mm -mm, she is in a bit of a pickle. Right? Look, look at both of them. He needs counseling. And she knew this shit was going to happen. She knew they were going to get caught. She probably was trying to talk this person. I don't think we should go any further. No, I don't think we should do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Spirit says, okay, spirit. Okay. Acknowledgement. I got to acknowledge that. Okay? I got to acknowledge that because this is the truth here. <laughs> this is the truth. I'm telling you, collective. Stay in solitude. You're doing the right thing. Stay in solitude with the most high. You understand? You're doing the right thing. Right? See, you went exploring the right things. Right? And they went exploring investing in the wrong things. Right? This is Look, this couple, man. This couple, this couple, this couple. They wanted this to be their finish line, but it's in the reverse. Look, they're going to have to give you back. Look, Spirit said, give it back. <laughs> That's what I heard. Give it back. Not a couple of dollars, you know, not a little bit of change, all of it. He said, give it back. Because here's the problem. Listen, God said, this is my money. Okay? This is my money. That's what, that's what, listen. <laughs> Y'all better give him back his money. Because here's the thing. The more evil holds his money, it's like, look, it's going to get real destructive. <laughs> okay? It's going to get, he's going to be tearing shit up left and right. Okay, he said, if you driving in your car, you better creep. Listen, he ain't playing with. Listen, burden. You understand? I'm telling you, he is upset. He's upset. He is so upset. It's like these people are just trying to cause you. Problem after problem, complication after complication, and they just won't stop. And God is just sitting back watching all of this. And he's like, enough is enough because I'm saying it's enough. You know, they done pushed so far to the point where, I mean, he left the throne. You know, he's here. And since they don't believe, they don't even see it, but he's in the community. <laughs> That's the next card. He's in the people around you okay that's why everything around you is failing okay people don't understand what's happening here but someone is awakened someone is fully fully i mean awakened wide awake okay okay somebody did the shadow work okay but for these people they didn't do the shadow work so it's in the reverse these people are not protected from anything that they have done okay grief I mean, whatever, listen, collective, whatever they're, they're plotting and planning against you, what they have to understand is 
you know, spirit saw everything that was happening with you. He saw everything that these people were doing to you in the background. And let me tell you what was happening on your end. Nothing. You weren't doing anything. Okay. Every ritual. Okay. Every sacrifice. Every every stolen piece of mail, every stolen piece of identity, he was watching. Right, thank you. Confirmation, attachments. He saw everything that was being taken from you. Okay. Meanwhile, you just going about living your life. You know, la 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 la. la. You know, and God is like, you know, they are robbing the hell out of my collective. You know, and that's not right. That that's not right. That's not what the plan was. Okay, see, this is what people have to understand. We can make plans all day long. Okay, but what we have to all understand is God had a plan in the first damn place. You understand? From the very beginning. Okay, I told y'all in other readings, I was told this was my calling. I'm, I'm not doing that. Hell no. It's like, what? I'm so invested right now. Uh-uh. Ain't no going back. You know, it's no going back. But I'm telling you. Just like there's no going back for me with what I'm doing, there is no going back for what happened with this money. These people created, right? This is their creation. Whatever illusion, they were just daydreaming and imagining what they were going to do with all of your money collected. And God said, uh-uh, not that one. Okay? Not that one. See, there's a reason why <laughs> you can't touch that one. Okay? When they go into these psychic readings, I don't know exactly what they're asking, but what they should ask about is not what's next, but <laughs> Spirit says you should be asking, who is that, is what you should be asking. These people cannot sleep, and they're just on the computer, and they're watching, and they're watching, and they're watching, and they're watching. They probably can't sleep because, you know, they'd rather stay awake and watch because they're that worried. They don't want nothing to sneak up on them. You know, I'm telling you, here we go with that burning evidence shit again. You know, the spirit said you went to the wrong house. Because the same jaw, I'm telling you that you put the collective in. These people are now in that jaw. I heard a fuck you bitch. Spirit said that's all right too. <laughs> spirit said that's all right too. That's all right too. You know, I got to give the message. You know. All must have a prize. Right. Everybody stepped in this to win it. But Spirit said, here's the thing. The win was not for them. It was for, for the collective. Okay? It was for the collective. That's why this is not working out. You have to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Okay? That's what you have to do. It's always tea time. Right. These people are always planning. Always plan. Oh, what we gonna do next? What we gonna do next? Oh, we gonna do this. Oh, we gonna do that. Oh, it's a full moon in two weeks. Well, when that full moon comes, we gonna do this and we gonna do that. We gonna do this and we gonna do that. We gonna do this and we gonna do that. Bang. Anything happen? No. Up. When's the next full moon? Oh, it's a new moon coming in here. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. The spirit just sitting there the whole time looking at his watch like, nope. Yeah, listen, listen. Listen, I'm telling y'all, y'all woke up God and y'all caught him in a bad mood, okay? This has been going on for a very long time, okay? And see, what he notices, these people have no chill, right? And I'm telling you, since they're not going to chill, he's not going to chill, Okay? It says, curiosity meet opportunity. They thought the collective, stealing the collective's um, money was an opportunity here. Okay. I want to be queen. Look at that. I'm telling you, somebody, was, there was a female energy competing with you. You probably didn't know it because you're in solitude, like I said. You know, so, listen. There was a secret competition collective that you were in. Okay. And... This person thought that they were winning this competition. I'm telling you, this person thought. But Spirit says, no, you know, these people, they didn't, it says, find a lesson. And the lesson that they were supposed to find is the fact that there is a God, okay? Because everything that they have tried to do to the collective, 
Okay, especially these multiple death spells, okay? Okay, I'm hearing 13. That's what I got at the table. Okay, there have been more than 13 death rituals performed on the collective due to trying to keep this money quiet. Okay? They're trying to commit murder without going to jail for a crime. So, you know, death magic. Wow, 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 wowzers. Yeah, the right way. These people didn't choose to go the right way. You know, these people did not choose to go the right way. You know, you ever see people... And you ever see people that look gray, you know, sometimes people think, um, you could tell, you know, that person ain't washed because, you know, look how gray and dirty they look. That's not what that gray look is. Okay. That gray look is death. Okay. And when I was, I didn't understand what I was looking at before because I wasn't in my spirituality the way I, the way I am now. But when people have a gray look on them, that means that they are marked for death. Okay. Right. Sometimes that's not dirt in their skin. Okay, it's not. This group here, right? Let me explain. They thought this was a good idea. Some of them didn't fully understand what it was that they were doing here. Okay. But spirit is actually letting me explain this to these people because, listen, they've been doing rituals and sacrifices, right? And things have been happening in their life. And they're blaming the person that they're doing this to. But see, here's the thing. What they don't understand is the collective is in solitude. The, the Look, the collective is... um. In her own world here. Okay. So. If the collective is not doing that to you. You're curious to know who. You're doing it to yourselves. Okay. This is what you have to understand. When you go dibbly dabbling. Okay. Into the dark forces. And you know rituals and all that stuff. And you don't have full knowledge. An understanding of what you're doing you're going to fuck yourself completely up okay and that's what's happening here so the sacrifices that they're making on the collective right something happens on their end where somebody gets hurt or honestly somebody could have passed away already okay and they think that this is the collective it's like no it's the backfire because you're sending energy to someone who is undeserved they don't deserve what you're doing Okay, so, you know, no matter how unrighteous you choose to be, life has to find its balance. And if this person doesn't deserve it, then it's only right that it goes back to the person who sent it out in the first place. Because if you thought this person deserved it, this is the way spirit is balancing the scale. If you thought this person deserved it, and they don't, then that means you must really deserve it. That's how spirit balances the scales here. Okay? You're sacrificing yourself here. Okay? That's why there's all this turmoil and everything is going wrong. You want me to shut up. But at the same time, it's a help to you, but you don't see it that way. You want to know why? Because they don't have spiritual eyes. They don't, they didn't choose the right way. They can't see it the way we see it because they didn't choose the light. You see how that light is on the car? I did, they didn't choose the light. They chose darkness. So they don't understand what I'm saying. That's why they want me to be quiet. You know, and it's the truth. Okay. The truth is a very deadly weapon. Very deadly. It can do a lot of damage. People don't give the truth the credit that it really needs. Okay? All is golden in the afternoon. Something's going to happen in the afternoon. This came out in my reading before. 
Something's going to happen in the afternoon time. Creative spark, imagination, conception, inspiration. Yeah, something's going to happen in the noon time, afternoon. Investigate. Okay? Yeah, something's going to... Whatever's going to happen in the afternoon time is going to trigger an investigation. Okay? Yeah. Don't drink the poison. Do not... Somebody's being warned not to drink the poison here. And collective, you don't have anything to be afraid of. If this message is scaring you, I'm telling you, you're not getting this message to be left in fear. Okay? Right. You're getting this message to wake you up to the truth and let you know what's going on in, in your energy. This is a wake-up call. This is not, oh my God, what am I going to do? And you don't have to do anything. Okay? Because I'm telling you, on the other end, okay, God is doing everything already. Nonsense. Right? These people feel like this is nonsense. You know, why is this shit happening? Because, look at the couple. It's amazing how that light is like, you can't hide in the dark no more. See that? What's done in the dark, thank you spirit, comes to the light. Look at how the light is hitting that car. Justice. Okay, I'm telling you, justice. Justice. Mm-hmm. Impossible things. I'm telling you, these people cannot believe what's happening right now. They cannot believe what's happening right now. Painting the roses red. Somebody lied to them and told them this was going to be easy. Somebody lied to them and told them this was going to be easy. But they are finding out, listen, who the hell, okay? <laughs> who the hell and what the hell is going on here, okay? Yeah. They're like, what? It says, use your time well. It's like, listen, if y'all don't believe in God, there is no way that y'all are still on that same not believing in God kick. I believe in him for you, okay? I'm telling y'all, what? Listen, it's spiritual as I am, and I grew up, you know, in church, in the gospel. Listen, I have never seen this myself, okay? If y'all think this is flowing, you are not alone, okay? <laughs> This, look, you can't deny. You can't deny there is not a force greater than we are. Okay? Let's listen. We're going to hit that for respect. Okay? Listen, you cannot deny that. You can. Oh, shit. Y'all, listen. Spirit is wide open in the chat. I say you you can't deny. You want to know what the next card says, y'all? Listen, I'm going to show you this next card. What does that say? That should say believe. I say y'all cannot deny that God is not real. I picked up the card. That shit says believe. <laughs> listen. Okay, listen. He's speaking. Choices. Why is this happening? You, you made the wrong choices. But something happened overnight. Something happened overnight. I'm telling you something happened overnight. Flower energies. Fairy energy element, right? I'm telling you, there was a ritual. Flowers. Mm. Another death ritual. This is crazy. They're trying to manage to be glad. They're trying to pretend like they're okay and, you know, everything's fine. But no, whoever you are, collective, you're rare and free here. You know, whoever these people are, they can't touch you. They can't hold you, okay? Because God won't let them. I'm telling you, he said, these people cursed me. <laughs> he said, they cursed my name. You know, they said, F God at one point in time. And it's like, look, the collective is the least of your worries. Okay. Oh, listen. Spirit said, they set the course. Listen, when y'all curse God's name, he said, y'all set the course. Y'all set the course. He set the course for what? Look at the next card behind that. For a moment's regret. O-M-G. O-M-G. Look, listen. Every hair on my body just stood up, bro. Listen. How much justification do you need? How much confirmation do you need to know when God is directly whispering in your ear? Okay, you know what I mean? 
this is like a personal i don't honestly i'm not even taking this as a spiritual message i'm taking i feel like spirit is spiritually threatening someone i yeah honestly it's like what keeping up somebody was trying to keep up here somebody was trying to keep up here clock time look there they go again who in the world are you collective they like what is that and i'm telling you that's a star seed spirit said that oh wow spirit just said it's a star seed it's my star seed take your hands off omg these people falling these people are taking a fall from grace that says falling this message is so divine. They like, I wonder what will happen next. Spirit says, stay tuned. Oh my God, Spirit. What? What? <laughs> Yo, I'm excited. Yo, listen. Listen. This spiritual fire right here. Uh, listen. They were planning to set a house fire. But listen. The fire that God got lit under these people's asses. Let me tell you something. You burn the collective out, he gonna put the collective in a mansion. I'm gonna tell you that, right? He said that. <laughs> Listen, God is on the line. He's not playing. He's not playing right now. Such a curious dream. God's spirit is like, it was all a dream. Listen, look at this. Look, everybody's pissed off. Everybody is mad. All these people are mad as hell. The gang stalking, you know, threats and all that spirit says, mm -mm, you better not. You better not. Some of these people don't even know if they're coming or going right now. I'm telling you, some of these people don't know if they are coming or going right now. That some of them are going in circles. Okay. So I'm um, listen. God is moving. You hear me? God is moving. I'm glad I chose the right way. Okay, because spiritually, somebody is getting their ass whooped. And you know what's messed up? They taking God's ass whooping. That's not, you know, when they meet the person that they made all these sacrifices with, you know. That 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 person, listen, that's not even the end yet. You know, right now, they just suffering hell on earth. You know, they didn't really get to hell yet, you know confirmation that's the message from spirit they didn't even they didn't get to the other side to see what it's really going to be for eternity but they will find out okay and that's the message and we're going to leave that right there now i feel relief you know you know when those downloads come i have to put the message out there you know i have to do it you know, even if I'm the one, you know, <laughs> they planning to kill or some shit, I have to give the message. You know, when spirit says speak, I have to. I don't have a choice. You know? And I will do the work. I will do the work. I'm sorry. You know, that's my job. That's my point and purpose. And I'm standing in my power. Okay? But that's the message. And I hope that helps. Um, stay blessed. Stay positive. Um, and stay safe. Later.